I know that some fans of Despicable Me and the Minions films feel like the films have gotten worse as they've kind of released more and more of them, but I'm actually a big fan of all of them, and obviously that includes the first film, Despicable Me, which was released 11 years ago in 2010, which just seems quite insane now, and yet I don't remember a world without Minions. They seem like they've always been around. So Despicable Me, obviously this was the first one that I saw, as with most people, and I still love it. It was directed by Pierre Coffin and Chris Renaud, and written by Ken Dorio and Cinco Paul, with one of the most amazing voice casts I've ever seen, to name a few. Steve Carell, Jason Segel, Julie Andrews, Will Arnett, Kristen Wiig, Miranda Cosgrove, Jack McBriar, who I didn't know, like, I wasn't aware of who he was at the time, but now I do, Mindy Kaling, brilliant voice cast, really fantastic and I'm also a very big fan of Elsie Fisher who voices Agnes. I love what she brings to this character and I have to say the the it's so fluffy the it's so fluffy line just absolutely melts me. I love it so much and I like probably many other people actually mimic that every time I see or touch something that's fluffy and I absolutely love it, and it just, it's a little bit of a golden nugget inside this film. I really, really enjoy it. The narrative itself sounds peculiar when you read it on IMDb, and this says as follows. When a criminal mastermind uses a trio of orphaned girls as pawns for a grand scheme, he finds their love is profoundly changing him for the better. Now, the words criminal mastermind and grand scheme, pretty prominent here. Um, Steve Carell voices Gru and Gru is not the nicest of people. I'm not a big fan of the phrase trio of orphan girls but I guess that is what we they are Margot, Edith and Agnes and for one reason or another they come into Gru's life and they teach him innocence and happiness and I think they do that in a way that doesn't necessarily completely rewrite Gru as an individual. I always felt like he still retained the parts of him that made him who he was, but obviously there's some really good character development there. It's quite emotional. Obviously these are orphan girls, and I feel like Agnes um, specifically brings a lot of emotion to this, and I really like her as a character. And obviously we have the introduction of the minions, and I love them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're so simple in design and yet they're so effective and their language is peculiar but amazing and whoever created the minions I'm not sure who designed the minion as a concept but whoever it was I love them because they're they appeal to everybody you know they're not just funny for children There's something that everybody can enjoy. And obviously they've become this colossal thing. You know, people dress up as them for Halloween. And actually on the street that I live on, somebody has drawn minions into the pavement with paint. I think it's the street that leads to a school. I'm not 100% sure. Um, So, you know, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Absolutely love this film. It's brilliant. I like the second one. I'll discuss it at some point. Obviously the second one. The second one's not as good as the first one, which is usually the case with sequels, but I still like it. Once they got to Despicable Me 3, I did think, okay, well, they've done the Minions film, now they're doing the third film, what's next? The second Minions film. It feels like it's going to go on forever, and I think at some point it will start to reduce in quality, but at the moment, I'm still very much enjoying it. I'm enjoying this film. Uh, I've, I've seen it several times, and I really like it. There isn't anything about it I would change, certainly, for the first film to start off the series. I can see why it's successful, it's popular. I won't deny it, I really love it. 